Well, looking ahead tonight, Spokane Public Schools take another step toward changing district boundary lines. The school board approved guidelines last night that will help determine which students will be affected. KXY 4's Taylor Graham working for you tonight to break down where things stand on this important issue for parents. Right next to me at Joe Alby Stadium sits this parking lot. It doesn't look like much right now, but it could soon be home to one of Spokane's three new middle schools. The addition of those schools will set boundary changes in motion, and thousands of parents are weighing in. Changes on the horizon for Spokane Public Schools. Soon, these middle schools won't be enough. It's not as much with uh, a student growth as it is with trying to get class size reduced at the elementary level. Associate Superintendent Mark Anderson says new basic education law calls for smaller class sizes. To accommodate that, sixth graders across Spokane will be moved up to middle schools, creating a need for new boundary lines throughout the city to accommodate three new middle schools. The first on North Foothills Drive across from Gonzaga Prep, the second on Mullen Road, and the third next to Joe Albee Stadium. The lines won't be set without community input. Anderson says a boundary study committee made up of district staff and parents submitted their concerns to the district. We will use those as we start to draw new boundary lines. We'll see if we're in conflict with the guidelines. If we are, we'll probably change the the boundary line to meet the guidelines. Those guidelines focused on keeping neighborhoods together, keeping transportation costs low, and grandfathering students, encouraging the district to set a policy deciding if kids can finish their enrollment pattern if a boundary moves. It's a change 30 years in the making, and there's still time to make your voice heard. So this shouldn't be the last time folks hear about boundary changes. All of a sudden, here's my new school boundary. In Spokane, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.